I have to say the anticipation for what we're about to see <laughs> has been, uh, it's been growing. Okay, so here, here's the deal. At the beginning of the show, we challenged 102.5 WBOC's Corey Phoebus and Del Marble Life's Sydney Whitfield to use the entire hour of the show to decorate beards. And it's now time to see the finished product. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> they are here. Wow. Just, just, just wow. Well, uh, allow me to introduce you very quickly. Uh, this is Silver Fox, Mark Dimbo. Uh, this is the founder and president of the Bearded Men's Society of Ocean City. This is Rob Dunn, and Dan Woods is on the end there. He's the treasury and uh, treasurer and secretary of yeah. Bearded Men's Society of, of Ocean City. All right, so I gotta ask, um, let's start with you, uh, Corey. What are we seeing here? What was the thought behind your design? Well. Mother Nature got old and she retired, so this is Brother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> and he's coming in to make sure that the earth is a beautiful place. Uh -huh. As you can see, he's got flowers growing out of his pockets, uh -huh. on his sleeves. Uh -huh. He's got that beautiful blonde mustache, and yeah. he's just got this little seashell puka necklace <laughs> crown thing going on. <laughs> and his veil. I mean, he is just awesome. everything that nature should be. Right here. Plus a touch of beauty, I think. <laughs> is, is that what you're feeling, Rob? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> right. Good. Good. Something all like right, that. moving on to Sydney. Okay. All right. So that's that's a lot. It's you know, and I feel like this is more a controlled he's like the king of the beach. He's like this beautiful kind of fairy princess purple blue <laughs> god. And I that's that's why I love it. Uh, okay. <laughs> so what do you think of, of uh, Mark? Ditto. Everything she said. Everything, Everything she, she just said. said. I'm I'm telling telling you. He knows how to play this game, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess now we, we've just got to declare a winner. Do you want to do that? Mm. Okay. Well, uh, shall we use the crowd? Let's use the crowd. Okay. Let's take a, let's take this off of our shoulders. Okay. So we're going to start um, by applause. By applause. Uh, who thinks that Corey and Rob have won this contest? Okay, not bad, not bad, got a whistle, that's good, okay. Okay, who wants the winner to be Sydney and Mark? And Mark. <laughs> oh, Woo! that was close. That's I don't, a tough one. We may have to call it a tie and declare you both beautiful. Okay, I like that. We're going to call it a tie because, I, I mean, you know, we got the whistle. Yeah, yeah it was pretty close. It was, it was pretty close. Can Corey, we just call it a tie? Sydney, well sure. done. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for Thank your you help you on so Dumb Life this afternoon. You guys are awesome. We will be seeing you again. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Great job. Okay, now, uh, the thing is that all the fun that we're having is to shine a light on a very important topic. Uh, these guys are going to tell us more about that. Now, we've already talked a little bit about the Bearded Men's Society. Dan, tell us what the Bearded Men's Society is. So Bearded Men's Society, we're a group that meets um, first Thursday of the month at um, Pizza Two Goes in West O, and our motto is Beards, Beers, and Volunteers. So what we do is we meet up, we have some beers, and we discuss our next um, volunteer work we're going to do. Uh, whether it's cleaning the beach, we do that once a month, or we do um, a charity event like we have coming up on September 8th. At Pit and Pub, we're going to have a beard competition that uh, benefits Dia Kania in West Dale. Okay. Oh, okay, right. Dia Kania, what is that? Hey, Rob, you want to tell? Sure. Uh, Dia Kania is a local food bank slash uh, transitional housing mm -hmm. for folks. It's also a veterans house. Uh, they went through over a hundred thousand pounds of food last year, donated and given out to the local communities for people in need. Wow. Mm. Uh, they also have forty. I think it's forty-five members that stay at the house on property. Uh, that they put up and help them go through transitioning from wherever they were before into a community, of, into the society. Wow, that's incredible. Now, you're doing a beard contest for that? Yes. yes. Can, can we expect anything as beautiful or magnificent as, as this? Well, this might come in the fakest category. <laughs> um, oh, you've got different categories. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have different categories. Uh, there's the softest, the widest, the longest, best in show, best groomed, and worst groomed. So I think yeah. mine would end up and Corey's worst would end groomed. up in worst groomed. Worst yeah. groomed. <laughs> Definitely worst groomed. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> uh, Mark, why is this important to you? Well, time is the best gift you can give back to the community. And uh, <clears throat> it keeps me busy, you know, and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of nice members in the club, so <clears throat> I, I just uh, like to give back to the community. Yeah. And we appreciate awesome. it. Dan, give us the details again. What, where and when? All right, so September 8th at 6 o'clock at Pit and Pub on 28th Street in Ocean City. Uh, we're going to have our beard competition. Um, 
to enter the competition, you just need to be, bring some kind of um, like toilet paper, toiletries, or anything that the Dia Canea can use, um, right. plastic, plastic bags, Ziploc bags. Uh, that'll get you into the competition. Uh, we're going to be sell, selling some beard balm from Uncle John's soap shop there mm -hmm. to raise money for the charity. Um, we're going to have t-shirts for sale. Everything goes right to Dia Canea. Um, it's a great thing. Pit and Pub's also going to donate the proceeds of all, all at 10% of the proceeds to Dia Canea for the event. A lot so, going on and a lot of fun. Yeah, so it'll be a lot of fun. And that's the most important thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Last year we had a dog win the fakes. Uh, category. <laughs> Mark, you won the best in show. So uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna. It's a good time. It's always we. It's grown every year. This is our third year, and it's gonna be probably bigger. We'll probably outgrow Pit and nice. Well, soon. thank you for for all of this, and thank yeah. you for being good sports with yes. us today. Thank you, thank you Dan, and <laughs> thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you more. If you would like to read more about the Bearded Men Society of Ocean City, go to DelmarvaLife.com.